Greetings to one and all, it's your old buddy Jay here coming at you with another episode of Countermeasures. Um, it's been a while since I've been to the Design Museum so I thought I would pop along and see what's going down. There's a couple of good exhibitions and the first exhibition that I'm going to take a look at today is this one. You can see that. It is uh, football, uh, designing the beautiful game. So the museum has an exhibition which looks at all of the branding that surrounds football and I thought that I'd come down and, and take a look at it because I've heard that it's very good. Um, now, full disclaimer, I'm not a massive football fan if I'm completely honest. I love watching England play, I like watching, uh, I like playing football, I like watching my kid play football but as far as actually uh, following it like week to week, um, that's not really my thing. So uh, I'm more of the sort of nerd sitting in the dark drawing on a beautiful sunny day uh, than I am watching a football match. But that said, uh, you can't deny the fact that the branding for football is uh, just an absolute juggernaut and has been for um, several decades. So I uh, want to go down and take a look at it. So let's do that. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boy. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. Sound right, boy.
white boy It sound right, boy. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Sound right, boy. Sound right, boy. It sound right, boy. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boy. Sound right, boy. Yeah, and there you have it. So that is the uh, football exhibition, uh, Designing the Beautiful Game. I thought it was really, really good. I've been to quite a few of these exhibitions over the last uh, sort of six to 12 months. And, you know, they're all very good in their own way. They've all got their own uh, distinct elements that you take away from it that, 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 that you know, resonate with you afterwards. Um, I think this exhibition was probably one of the better ones. Um, just 
for sheer content. I mean, they had everything from, you know, how the balls were originally designed and created to how they are done today. Um, you know, so there was a real kind of like, you know, where football started and where it currently is and bridging that gap of time and showing you how much has changed. Um, it also had a lot of uh, kind of sketches and concept art for things like stadiums and, um, you know, football boots and things like that. And I like my footwear. So there was a little bit of that in it for me as well, which I thought was really good. Um, I've got to say, uh, it's a really, really good exhibition. If you get the opportunity to come down and take a look, then you absolutely must do. Um, as always, uh, the Design Museum is a charity, so if you can come down and support them in any way, um, you know, the membership, I think it's only about £50 a year, and it gets you access to all of these really excellent exhibitions. Um, or you can just come down and pay 10 or 15 quid to, to see them individually. But either way, I definitely recommend you come check it out. And if you're even remotely into football, or if you're even remotely into sports in any way, um, just coming down and having a look at this and, and seeing how, uh, you know, the branding has changed over the years and, you know, even me, who's not a huge football fan, um, I had a, you know, there were a few touch, touch, you know, the emotions were flowing a little bit on some of the old football shirts and things like that that I remembered from a kid, as, 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 as I was a kid. Um, so yeah, I definitely think it's worth checking out. Um, it's definitely for all ages, so if you've got kids and you want to bring them down, uh, they, they would really enjoy that. There was a design part where you could actually design your own football stadium and then you could design your own uh, football shirts and things like that. So I thought that was quite good that they had an interactive element there. Um, so yeah, you check it out if you get the opportunity. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about all I've got to say about that. So a rating out of 10, I think I'd give this one a nine, nine out of 10 for sure. So uh, yeah, until next time, I'd be good, stay safe, and be kind to one another. Cheers.